Hi everyone, it's Amy with Lou Fru Fru Studio and it's Tuesday, so it, that means that it is, I saw it on Pinterest day, and today we are going to make a belly band that is inspired by a pin that I saw on Pinterest that was by Sherry Red. And she had it in a folder called Things I Made. So I'm assuming that she made these herself. Um, once again, I forgot to print out a picture, but I will at the end of the video show you her version of this. Um, because mine is a little different or going to be a little different than hers just simply because I'm trying to use products that it, I already have and not purchase anything to do these videos. Um, thinking, you know, of the use, kind of using up my scrap things. So today, what I've got here is I've got various trims and I've got some crinkled seam binding ribbon and um, all my pieces of trim I have coffee stained and I've just got various pieces. I've got a piece of denim and some wider lace. And I've got a couple of pieces of just cotton muslin. That's going to be our, our back piece for this particular thing. I've got a dually. I've got some buttons. And I've got two little latches or hooks or whatever you want to call these that go on overalls. I've got two of those because we're going to make two of these. And then I have got some washi tape that looks like film strip. And I have attached that to just a piece of cardstock. And I cut it down a little bit because um, it was a little bit too wide for what we're going to do. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, and I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is say hi and hope you guys had a, are having a good week and tell you welcome back and I appreciate your support. Um, I just jumped right in there and didn't even, didn't even say hi or anything. I get excited when I do these and so I forget my manners of telling you guys hi so forgive me for that so I'm just going to get my glue book because this like I said I just took this washi tape that I had and I put it on some cardstock but it is way too white for me so I'm going to take some antique linen distress ink and I'm going to just put that all over and dull this down a little bit so it's not so white. And then, like I said, I had to cut it a little more narrow um, so it would fit. And so I'm gonna ink the edges a little bit too just because I cut that dark edge off. Okay, that's better. Now I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take the black soot first and go around the edges. And the black back side won't matter because it won't show. I'm going to take the vintage photo. Ooh. I'm going to do the same thing. And I might get it just up on the surface just a little in the corners.
like that. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I cut out just four little vintage images. These cute little kids here. And I'm gonna ink those around the edges. And this is out of a book that I have um, that has vintage Victorian photos in it. Um, actually, no, this one isn't. This one is um, from the digitals that I got um, that I used on those zipper tags. And I can't remember who they're from right off the bat. I'll link it in the box below, and I have linked it in some of those other videos where I made the super tags in the in the denim tags with the children. The other one is from a book that we're going to do. Okay, so find my scissors here because actually I'm going to use these little ones. Excuse my reach. And I'm going to round these corners just a tad. I just want to kind of knock it off so that it's not such a square edge. There's nothing exact. I thought these were really cute. I think they're going to make really cute. I don't know if she intended them. Um, the only thing that she has on hers is just the picture of a bunch of them sitting together. So I don't know if she intended them to be like bookmarks or what her use was. She doesn't really reference anything, but I thought they would be really cute belly bands. And um, so I definitely want to use one in my blue journal that I'm working on with the denim on the cover in the denim tag because I think they'll look really cute since we've got the denim to use the little part to the overalls coveralls whatever you call them in your in your area all right so let's put these images just glue them right on here. That one could actually be just a little shorter. I'm going to trim that one off just a little bit. So have you guys been trying any of these? I'm really enjoying the series and I'm enjoying finding things to use to make. Well, okay. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so let's glue these on. I'm gonna use our glitter glue and glue them all down. Actually, I think I'm going to use a glue stick. I'm second guessing that. Because I think a glue stick will stick them just fine. Maybe I won't have to worry about getting any lines behind them. Because these are just printed for the most part. One of them's on cardstock. But the other ones are just printed on regular copy paper. And I have not tried one of these put together, so we may run into some bumps in the road along the way, but that's part of it, right? I'm just going by a photograph after all. Oops, I did a big glue glob there, didn't I? Oh, can you? I hope y'all can see. I have that pulled down an awful long 
legs. She couldn't, I wasn't really doing much, just gluing these in place. All right, so that's that part. Made our little film strip here. Cute. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, this is going to be our back and our base. And we are going to use this at the top and we're gonna pull this through. And I've measured these strips so that they'll go into a regular size, you know, eight and a half inch tall journal or you know, nine inch journal, whatever you, you normally do when you fold a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper in half to make your signatures. So that's how I've measured how tall to make these. Because my idea is, is I want the um, part of the, I'll measure them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, I think that's about right. I want this piece to hang out the top, that's what I'm trying to say, not very successfully. And you could stitch this across here. But I'm going to glue for, you know, the reason being that I don't sew. And because we're doing a video, even if I hand stitched it, um, you know, I don't want to take your time up to do that in a video. So I can always go back and put some stitches across there if I want to, if I feel like it needs it. But you're really not going to be able to see this part. Alright, so we've got that glued down as our base. Simple, simple so far. Alright, now what we want to do is pick some of our laces and embellish the front of this, the fabric. And I think for this one I'm going to use this one since it's got... I don't know though, the other one has babies and it may be better. Yeah, let's use this one. And this is just a wide piece of crocheted lace and I'm going to glue it onto my little muslin base here. that. And then we need to decide how we want to embellish this. I think I want to include a little bit of denim somewhere. Not a lot. Just a little peaky, peaky out part. Because what's going to happen is we're going to put this on top of this. And then what else do we have? We have this piece. And I think you could use these either in the center of the page. And I think you could also use them on the corner of the page. 
I'm going to set this one up so that I can do it on the corner and then the other one will set up so that it's going to be in the center. And that way when I put them in my book, I won't, these won't be in the same place coming out the top. They'll be in two different places. Let me put this down here like that. And then put this here. Maybe like that. And then I've got, this is just a little scrappy piece that I cut off of a piece of lace. And then this is a little scrappy piece and I may cut some of this off. This is the last I have of this, and I love it. It's a really vintage piece. And I have... I have courted and babied and... Everything else, and it is about... About gone. And then I pick some buttons out of the wonderful buttons that Annette sent me. And I think I'm going to put the button there. One of them. I like that one a lot. I don't know if I have... I may actually stitch this if I can get this in here without much difficulty. I get really impatient sewing, and I think that's why I don't do it. It's like, I just get really impatient with it. I feel like it needs something lacy down there, too. More lacy. Oops. This thread is my binding thread, and it may be too thick to go through here. Let me see. Let's try this one instead. Are you laughing at me? It's okay, you can. You can laugh because I feel like a total klutz when I'm trying to sew. I really do. Okay. So I'm going to try my best here to sew this button on. If I can get it where I want it to go. And another reason that I don't like to sew is that I always end up poking myself with a needle and I hate that. I don't know about you guys, but I just absolutely, obviously I didn't make my, not big enough. And I didn't hold it on the back. See this, you didn't know this was going to be a comedy. You thought you were going to see a craft session and instead you're seeing a comedy. I'm telling you, it's not good, people. It is not good.
I'll get, I'll get frustrated with this in a minute and give up. There we go. I'm just going to put a couple of stitches in there just to hold it. It's not like it has to be, has to button or unbutton, you know? Okay, and then I'm going to move over a little bit and just put a couple of stitches in this to hold it, kind of hold it in place. And give it a knot. Okay. There's that. Looks pretty cute. And then I need something frilly, frilly down on the bottom, too. I feel like. And don't freak out over this doorway. It's not an old one. It's, it's, I couldn't cut up an old one. They are actually new ones. And I have just coffee dot them. Um, because I would, I couldn't cut up an old one, I don't think. I don't mind little scraps of old. lace or something like that but I'm just fraying it up a little bit Not sure about that denim. Let's see what this will look like. I know it's white or whiter. But we can always put some ink on it. 
think I'm going to use this instead. I'm allowed to change my mind, right? All right. And let's take the antique linen. The antique linen works really good to kind of knock the white down a little bit without, you know, making it look too grungy. So if you're kind of in between, you know, you don't want something really grungy, then the antique linen's a good, good color for that. All right, so let's glue this piece here. I'm gonna do it right on the edge. I still need to get me one of those spatulas. Gail uses to smush down my glue. And I feel like we still need some texture. So I'm going to reach back here and grab my cheesecloth. And I'm going to put a layer of cheesecloth underneath there. Take the antique linen. That's also a great way if you rub your antique linen on there, you can see it frays it up real nicely too. So you kind of accomplish two things at once. And again, if you wanted that darker and more grungy, you could spray it with coffee and you could also do it with the um, finished photo, which I'm gonna do in a couple places, not all over, but just here and there. And the edges a little bit, just to kind of darken it up just a tad. Okay, now we'll glue that down, or put, let's look at it first before I say we're going to glue it down. And I probably do not need all of this, but kind of stretch it out a little bit. Cut that piece off right there. Save that for something else.
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all in place and then I'm going to put the glue on the back of the, the back of the film strip and I think that's going to hold the, the cheesecloth down. Or at least I hope it does. So we're going to fabric tack the back of this. For a three in one glue. I think it's about one in the same. Give it a good coat. Get it up under my little crocheted embellishment there. And then as a final step, actually it's almost final step, we're going to take this little word that says photograph and we're gonna put it in this little hole. We'll just, I've got two um, whites and two blacks. Um, and I'm thinking if I cut it, little bit wider than the actual word it will fit in there and these are Tim Holtz and of course you could print them on the printer if you don't have this Tim Holtz small talk book and we're gonna put them right in this little slot right here I've got a measure. I'm just going to make a little crease of where I need to cut it. it up awesome all right now this is going to be the trick there is a little lip there, and so I'm going to try to get this glue just on the little lip. I don't know if art glitter glue would hold this or not. I don't know how it does with metal, so we're going to try this and try not to get it everywhere. And then because that is going to show, or I feel like it's going to show, um, because it's going to be sticking out the top of the book, I do want to give it a finished look. And I'm thinking I might put my denim there. Just because it will be good sturdy fabric. To use there. Cut it off just a little bit more.
cute. I'll use my other little words there. Okay, and then she took a little piece of seam binding. Just kind of tied a piece around here just to kind of give it one little finishing touch. And there we go. So, what you would have. And you could even pin something on that if you wanted to. Kind of hanging down here. So what you would have in your journal, get rid of this sticky page so I don't run, is it would set in your journal like this, you know, on the corner of the page, and you would glue it top and bottom, and then you would have your tuck to go right there. So I think that is just too cute. Okay, and you could make, you know, you could do one this tall if you wanted to and make it just a tuck at the top. Or you could do one this tall, you know, and make it more like a cluster. That'd be really cute too. All right, so let's do the other one. Now for this other one, I got my images from a book that I have um, that is Victorian images, Victorian pictures, and it has a, um, it does have a copyright, but it says that you're free to use the pictures as long as you do not use more than 50 of them in one particular project. So. Um, I think I'm safe. And basically, we're going to do the same thing all over again, except we're going to alter our lace and things that we use just a little bit. And you could do these. I mean, I used photographs, but you could do, you know, about anything. You could do scenery, um, you know, landscapes, or you could do... Uh, butterflies or birds or flowers or you know really whatever you wanted to you know that one looks long that one is longer all right let me glue it and then we're gonna cut that off and you could use any kind of fabric for the back of these actually you don't have to you know, you could, if you wanted a floral or a striped or whatever, they'd look really cute. Um, if you put a denim backing, actually, you know, you can make that piece denim. Um, if you had an old pair of overalls, you could actually cut the strap off and use that. The only reason that I didn't want to do that is I was afraid that it would cause too much bulk. to do that. So I want that to be... Okay, I'm going to cut this one. I think off right at that crease. Is that going to give me enough room? Yeah, I think it will. Okay, this one should go quicker. Maybe. All right, so for this one, we're gonna use that other piece of wider lace. Where did I put it? Right here. Because the, pit, the 
pictures I'm using of this one are younger children, and I think this lace looks more like, you know, baby, baby lace. And this one I'm going to make as if it was going to go in the middle of the page instead of, instead of on the edge. So, let's glue that down. I don't have, I thought that I had a lot more wide lace than what I actually have when I started looking, looking at it for this project, I was like, oh, that's what I need to be looking for when I go thrifting is some wider, wider lace because I don't have near as much as I thought I did. All right, so we've got this piece, and I think I'm gonna put that piece over here. And I've got a couple of more little scraps of my my favorite one. Glue those down, all that down. I was talking to my daughter on my way home for Mark, hands free, <laughs> of course, and uh, it's been the week of sporting accidents for my grandbabies, unfortunately. My granddaughter's on the golf team, and they were at practice the other day, and somehow one of the little boys hit the golf ball backwards and hit her right in the chin with that. And so she's had a big bruise on her chin. And then she told me my grandson was at playing baseball with my other grandson, practicing. So he's on the baseball team. And uh, the one grandson threw the ball and the other one just didn't catch it. Well, he did catch it. He caught it with his nose. And so, he had a bloody nose. So, it's been a rough, rough week for them as far as sporting goes. I remember when my kids played. My gosh, it seems like I was always nursing them for some kind of... In Injury. My son got hit in the mouth when he was little by a pitch. And it broke one of his teeth. And My daughter took a batting helmet to the nose. So, yeah, I remember those days. They're not fun, that's for sure.
I do miss them playing though, so I'm glad I do get the opportunity to watch my grandkids because I do miss going to games and rooting them on. They played for lots of years. My daughter played all the way through college. My son quit playing baseball in high school because he was in uh, archery competitions and it was at the kind of the same, the schedules were kind of the same. So he had to pick one or the other. And he went the archery route. Kind of like that boy piece too. These are all just little bits and bobs of stuff that I had. We'll see about that. Um, that one may be too big. This one may be too small. And it didn't have to be blue at all. We did blue on the other one. Looking over in my little in my little bin here over to the side. Let's see what else I have. I like that one, I think. All right, are you guys ready for me to? Try this sewing thing again. I don't know if I am. Oh, you know this, I may not be able to sew this one. I'm going to start at the top because I glued it, first of all, in my No, I'm not going to be able to. So we're going to do it this way. We're going to cheat just a little. Should have thought about that before I started slapping all that glue on there. I'm just doing like a really messy kind of looking thing. So it doesn't look so pristine. There we go. Now let's put a little bit of cheesecloth on this one as well.
just going to kind of spread it out a little bit. I like that. Now let's get our pictures on our strip. About lost everything there. Again, I'm just using the antique linen to knock that white down. And you guys may have a die cut that does this film strip thing. I don't have one of those, but I've seen one um, out there that I'm sure would work. And you could also use a real film, um, like a, a, you know, like a negative from my old 35 millimeter camera, that would work. I, th I think it would. Lots of options. Yeah, I got this book that this is in at a used bookstore, and I always try to read the copyrights because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do any copyright thing, steal anybody else's work, but this one, I guess, was made specifically for people that do scrapbooking and things like that, and so they had that limited copyright on it. And it it did say that if you were gonna use them, you know, mass mass use them that you could get a license. I've lost a picture. That's my template. See if it's in my lace over here. Sorry about that, guys. It's the last resort I'll look in the floor. So I'm good at that. Back under my glue book. Nope. You look and see if I knocked it in the floor. not good. Alright, we're going to continue on. And maybe, maybe it'll show up here in a minute. There it is. I bet you all could see it, could you? You're pointing to it. <laughs> I knew it couldn't have gone far. And the thing I like about these images that are in this book is they're not glossy. 
And you had a lot of times you get those books and the images are really glossy and these are not. They are, they are pretty flat. So you can tell that whoever, you know, designed this book for scrapbooking or journaling or whatever had that in mind when they, um, when they printed that they didn't print a bunch of glossy prints. I appreciate that. All right, so now we have our little babies on there. And we're gonna put our little babies on here. Let me move this book out of the way. I just feel like it's hard to see on that. So did you guys watch the Super Bowl? It was a great game. I can't say much for the commercials. Halftime show was good. My team that I was rooting for, only because I had someone local playing, did not win, but he did score two touchdowns. Um, so I'm sure his mother is just beside herself over that. Now see this one doesn't have as much sticky out stuff because I didn't, the lace I used wasn't as wide. You can even see Some of it. So I'm gonna try to get it to stick out just a little bit more. And then I might add, I might even add another piece. Should have laid that out more. Before I did it. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I might go back and put another piece of of that crocheted trim. that I use just to make it a little wider. It's not gonna hurt anything for me to stick it on the back. Okay, I'm going to let that dry just a minute and do our little photograph. And this time I'm going to do a white one, I think.
I'm sure this is going to work because I didn't put my pen back in there. Blue struggles. All right, I'm not even going to be able to get that in there to use it. So we will be washing that when we get through with the video. <laughs> And obviously, I'm going to become all thumbs now. It's because my fingers get sticky, and once my fingers get sticky, I have a hard time doing anything because everything wants to stick. And I'm sure you can measure this instead of doing what I'm doing, but you know how it is. And the ideal solution would probably have been when I cut the first one to make a template so that I'd have it for the next one. But I didn't do that either, so, you know. Actually, I don't want to use a piece of, I'm going to use a piece of this on this one, I think. Since I don't have any denim on this one. And that's just a preference for me to finish that off so I'm not seeing the back side of that paper. You could just as easily, you know, put coffee on that or something and it'd be just fine. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that one. Oh, let's put a little piece of ribbon up at the top. Put the top on my glue. I'm definitely going to make some more of these with different styles. I only have one more pack of the little overall things. I don't even know where they came from. I just happened to have some in my sewing box. And yes, I really do have a sewing box. It was my mom's. And, um... They may have been in there. I feel like it needs something down there. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We may add something. I feel like it needs something to cl to finish off the bottom of this film strip down here. Just so it's not maybe something like that. Just so it's not hanging out by itself. So may find a little something to put down there some kind of little embellishment all right so there we go there's our two little belly bands or side tucks you can put on the page like this glue the top and bottom this would obviously hang out the top but I think that's what makes it charming and then this one I made to go in the middle so it would go in the middle of the page and you would glue it on the top and the bottom and then you would have you know you could slide it in that way so hope you guys like that I think they're cute they'd also look kind of cute hanging up wouldn't they like hanging up you could put your family pictures on there. It'd be really cute. Hope you guys like that. I love doing the I saw it on Pinterest little series. And I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Let me know. Leave me some feedback. And uh, I have some new subscribers. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. And I hope that... Uh, you continue to watch and journal with me and if you guys try any of these um give me a shout out let me know let me know if you liked it and uh you know if there's something that you want me to try or something that you'd like to see let me know that too and as always i appreciate your support and so I'll be back on Thursday for our Marguerite Miller Weekly Challenge. And then again on Sunday for our Journal With Me Sunday, Journaling Sunday, and my um, piece that I was waiting on from eBay came yesterday. So we'll probably jump back on the... Um, religious art journal this weekend we'll see and um, until then everybody stay healthy as always stay safe as always and I'll see you on Thursday bye